On the broadcast, we have Professor V. Kamakoti from IIT Madras to discuss a revolution in the mobile operating systems. An IIT Madras incubated startup um, has now developed India's first indigenous mobile operating system to take on Google's Android and Apple's iOS. Data is the new gold in this digital age and those who collect and store your data have an upper hand. Giants like Google as well as Apple have had no successful alternatives for decades, allowing their mobile operating systems of Android and iOS to rule our phones. Given this reality, Government of India wanted to develop an indigenous mobile operating system that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Google's Android OS and have the added bonus of prioritizing privacy and being safe. Bharat OS is just the answer. Let's understand how and why with uh, Professor V. Kamakoti, who is the director of IIT Madras and who is also joining us on the broadcast now. Firstly, thank you so much, Mr. Kamakoti, for speaking with NewsX, sir. Thank you. Congratulations Namaste. are in order, sir, for having developed India's first indigenous mobile phone operating system. Um, if you could just tell us a little bit about Bharos, sir, how the app is going to work on a, Bhar on a Bharat OS enabled smartphone. So uh, today, uh, smartphones are becoming quite uh, quite close to day-to-day -day living. A lot of our data are recorded in the smartphone. It was it is not it was not just uh, you know uh, in 1990s or late 90s when uh, phones mobile phones came to India. We thought that we will be using it only for talking, but today we are using it uh, for lot of things other than talking. And that makes the phone uh, more, you know, more closer to human living. And a lot of data about ourselves are recorded in the phone. It can also be health data. It also means when you are getting up in the morning, your alarm data from everything is there. And where you go, uh, you know, uh, so the locations where you go, everything can be logged in today. Hmm. Given that, and that lot more of commercial transactions are happening over the phone today. And a lot of confidential data in terms of emails and messages also get exchanged your otps are uh, you know the second party uh, second uh, factor authentication happens over mobile there is a need to uh, have a lot more security uh, uh, against uh, uh, you know apps that can basically steal the data against operating systems which can be hacked into and uh, you know uh, data can be taken out so in this direction, uh, IIT Madras had been uh, working on concepts like, can I have uh, a software? Uh, mm. Note that operating system is a software. Yes. Can I have a software that can run on a mobile that can never be manipulated? Manipulated in the sense, even if you change a bit of it, mm. the mobile phone should stop working. And this is one thing that we have achieved using Burroughs, uh, wherein we are using something called a root of trust and a chain of trust that we have established hmm. wherein, wherein if you even a small bit of the software gets changed the phone will not boot the second thing is today we are also giving what we call as pass pass is private app store so an organization for example newsx decides to give to all uh, its employees uh, a secure communication network NewsX can uh, create a pass, a private app store, mm. and the phones can be given to your employees can be configured in such a way that only the apps in this app store can be downloadable there. Mm. So that means other apps which you have not certified as an organization cannot go into those official phones. phones. The Very last, interesting. Very yeah, interesting, the last, sir. Yeah, the last thing I want to tell you here is that uh, this Burroughs is doesn't come out with any default apps. Hmm. Some of the operating system today, when you install they do, in yes. the mobile, default apps come in. And uh, so this Burroughs doesn't come. So this gives us a, a, a fair playing field hmm. for startups who are doing this, uh, uh, you know, mobile app development uh, hmm. to actually compete and uh, make uh, their apps, uh, uh, you know, sell those apps hmm. and make them 
prevalent in the mobile uh, network. Very so interesting, you know, Mr. Mr. Kamakoti, you've just talked about competition, you know, in your in your concluding remarks. Um, I want to pick up from there, sir. Uh, you know, we already have two operating systems that are in place. There's the Android system, of course, and then there's the iOS. But you know, the fact remains, sir, that they do have legacy advantages, whether or not we like it or we don't like it. Um, how do you think that Bharos is going to be challenging that, and how do you think that Bharos can then overcome these legacy advantages that the operating systems that exist right now already have okay so the way we are looking at this today uh, 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 the the main objective of development of Baros hmm. by the startup company JNK uh, 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 operations private limited which is an IIT Madras incubated company was to give all these security features to an organization to start with hmm. so we would be looking at organizations who are surely needing uh, uh, yeah, yeah, secure communication network between their employees because of the confidentiality and privacy of the data that they are circulating, especially the confidentiality. Hmm. So hmm. that way, there are many organizations which would like to give mobile phones to their uh, to their uh, to their employees and make them install a yeah, customized Burroughs version on these mobile phone, which will use their app store, and they will only put whatever apps that they desire in that app store. By this, mm. they are very sure that the software that is running on the mobile phone, namely the operating system, is what they have certified as an organization. And whatever apps that are going to be installed on that is again mm. certified by the organization. So, so, so from what I understand, so from what I understand, you're saying that this is going to be for organizations specifically. But what about a commercial rollout, sir? Is that also yeah. something that you're thinking of maybe in the later stages? Yes, absolutely. Once as a concept, this comes out very well. So first mm. and foremost, we are very clear that many organizations will take it in large numbers. The next thing is that an organization, say with 10,000 employees, is one, uh, if we call it as a company, for example, if an organization with say four crore people actually becomes a consumer product. Yes. So more and more as and when the people actually start uh, wanting this type of a security, which we hmm. feel will happen in, 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 in a very uh, quick future uh, because of lot more of, uh, you know, internet mobile related hackings that are happening. This type of a security requirement will come and that time we will have a, a very important uh, uh, you know commercial rollout uh, the, the uh, across india for and also globally if needed hmm. uh, for, for a secure operating system and a secure app store okay. hmm. So interesting, you know, talking about taking Bharos not only in India but also globally, giving it a global platform. Of course, that's going to be uh, the need of the hour after it has already established itself in India. But you know, so I want to ask you, why do you think that attempts in the past, uh, you know, to take on Google as well as the Apple operating systems have not succeeded? Yeah, see, the main issue is security as a big issue has come up very recently, hmm. and uh, uh, and. Uh, establishing uh, a root of trust and a chain of trust is extremely important and we are we have uh, success, uh, uh, we have successfully uh, not only done that but actually tested it successfully as you know uh, 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 honorable minister of uh, education uh, and uh, uh, honorable minister of information technology and railways yes. both of them actually tested this uh, call that day uh, so half an hour there was uh, around uh, 20 minutes I understand there were also calls that were made so there were audio calls that were made by the minister and, and in order to check the were, system video calls that were made just to okay. demonstrate that it's working so a working system with uh, you know uh, complete uh, security is now demonstrated hmm. and uh, I'm sure that and with a clear goal right we are now talking of uh, yeah pass uh, private app server we are talking of uh, uh, no default apps we are also uh, 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 we are also talking of this entire security uh, with no root kits and other things possible. I think this is a comprehensive offering that we are giving and at the right point of time, right? So we also have uh, certain uh, observations made by the Honorable Supreme Court in their recent judgment. And now this is a time where, you know, even our own startups need to have a far, fair playing field. Mm -hmm. So this type of an understanding has come uh, of recent times where this, this has actually uh, the security on the mobile phone 
is now becoming a major issue and that is what we are seeing yes and i think this is the right point where we have pitched it uh, you know, so talking... our objective our objective is not uh, you know predominantly our objective is to give a secure environment right mm. and if the, and whoever wants that environment can take it mm. Um, so, you know, talking about data privacy, data protection, that of course is the need of the hour, you know, in, in, in today's day and age. So, then, sir, how does an indigenous mobile operating system change data protection as well as privacy, at least in India, with, uh, you know, with Bharos now coming into the picture? Absolutely. So, now what we are saying is that you are an organization, like again, I come back, yes. Newsex uh, has a, uh, a private app server, a uh, pr private app store. And uh, you have your own phone. All the data that is flowing is between your app server and that phone, okay? And the apps that you are using. So, hmm. and uh, if you have certified those apps, that apps will also protect the necessary data. So, otherwise, you are not going to certify that app. So, it is entirely up to your organization, uh, NewsX, to see what data you can share and what data you need not share. Hmm. And that way, it is completely the data is within well within your network and. Uh, uh, and and all that is there in these mobile phones being certified and that the mobile phone is configured in such a way that if something gets changed the phone itself will not boot i mm. uh, that, that is where you get the full confidence that the data that you have is within yourself and it is uh, it, it is within your network and it is up to you to use the data or collect the data or not collect the data everything is given to you as an organization so that is where the entire uh, privacy uh, uh, and uh, security of the data uh, can be ensured. All right, so sir, you know, help me better understand this, and I just want to understand this from you since you since you're telling us this in so much detail. Um, so. Yeah. If let's say, like you've you know given the example already, if let's say NewsX decides to get on Bharos, um, NewsX will be in control of putting on the application store whatever applications it wants on the mobile phones on the devices of their employees. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, all right. And that then, is sir, what we call it as a private app store. Okay. It's private to you. Right. <clears throat> so, so this will then range from every organization to organization that then yeah. uh, takes um, Bharos on their systems. Correct, correct. So, okay, it, okay. so I am not bounded to one app store. Hmm. So, I, and for example, another thing is that uh, uh, this phone can work on this app store. So, you can decide on some app, right? You as NewsX can decide on some app and put. It will not be a default app, right? You can decide. You have the uh, choice to decide on the app, hmm. and then uh, uh, so one of the things that uh, you know, uh, NK operations will also try to help you is on to see whether that app has the required security, hmm. right? That okay. sort of a, a human uh, security check, uh, right? So today, uh, some of the organizations do an automatic security check, and sometimes hmm. it works, it doesn't work, and as you see, many apps are to be removed because of you know some vulnerabilities, etc. Mm -hmm. And this will give you, uh, they will uh, uh, also create an infrastructure where there can be a human check for every app and then that can be mm -hmm. put onto this. And then what about the compatibility, sir, of applications with Bharos? Can that yeah. be an issue? Uh, no, actually, uh, so uh, very interestingly, if you uh, look at the testing that was done by Honorable Ministers that day, mm -hmm. uh, Map My India was there. So Map My India as an app. Uh, uh, was actually ported uh, within a couple of hours into this and uh, so so uh, the compatibility of any uh, new app to this uh, is not going to be an issue and uh, that is a simple proof because it's a very complex uh, system because it uses many of the peripherals hmm. uh, uh, so uh, but that was ported very easily okay and so one you know one last thing with regards to the details of the operating system itself before i move on um, so what about what about applications that are already compatible with let's say ios or um, android are they also going to be able to work on bharos or are they going to need a new compatibility system um, more user interfaces user checks how is that going to work yeah so so some of the things are uh, if the apis need to be tested once and if the apis are tested then this uh, this uh, uh, software can be ported. Uh, it will not be an issue. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, there will be one test that need to be done hmm. uh, because ultimately uh, 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 many of this, uh, all of this are originating from a Linux kernel, right? So there is a native Linux kernel from which Android came up, right? So, yes. so, so, uh, so uh, many of the things are compatible across this platform because the underlying mother kernel is a Linux kernel. So uh, then uh, there is not going to be a big issue 
in porting any of these softwares onto uh, any of these applications onto Burroughs. Brilliant, sir. Thank you so much for so patiently explaining that to uh, me as well as our viewers watching this. It's very interesting. Um, so, sir, you know, moving forward now, I want to ask you and the government as well as the private sector have shown so much interest in the application. You know, I've been going through news articles after news articles about how the private sector is also so interested in the software itself. Um, so shown this increased interest in the operating system, how is the team now looking to harness the opportunities uh, that you know are coming their way? Yeah, so one of the first and most initial thing that we would like to take up uh, the, the, the team, uh, JNK uh, Operations Private Limited is to basically start working with some of the organizations hmm. uh, because that will be, uh, as you know, this is a start, right? So we have just tested and uh, so with the organizations and uh, see that uh, they could give a private network for these organizations, right? So that will uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, uh, freeze a clear process of how to roll out. Uh, there is no doubt that this can scale up to crores of users, right? But mm. uh, we would like to do it for thousands or ten thousand, tens of thousands of users to start with. I think that is what uh, they will do uh, in the next uh, uh, six to eight months. And once uh, that is successful, I think this will move on to the next stage. Right. You know, talking about the consumers, sir, talking about the people that, that you know that you expect to reach out to India, sir, um, you know, as a fact, is the second largest consumer market as far as the smartphone industry is, is concerned, you know, in the world, um, yes. only after China. So what yes. potential does our market space then serve for indigenous mobile technologies such as Bharos? Yeah, so the, the main uh, issue uh, in a ma uh, full consumer scale ro rollout is the basic uh, usage of this operating system should be friendly yes. and uh, the, the, the type of uh, apps that are going to be loaded has to be quite versatile. These two are from a user perspective and the last one is that, that there should be a trust that is built on, uh, on that this uh, system will work correctly. And to actually need reach these three goals, namely uh, usability, the, the, the variety of apps and also the trust, uh, uh, the, the initial exercise of trying to work with individual organizations will hmm. give the company a lot more of uh, insight based on which they can take it roll out faster. Uh, but I'm very sure as a, a professor of teaching information security for quite some time, the time is not quite far off when there, there will be a need for a very, very intricate security uh, on the mobile phone, even mm -hmm. for co general consumers uh, like us, and uh, it's not necessary for strategic, but even for civilian purposes. And that day uh, is not very far off. And that day we will have uh, in one indigenous answer uh, Atman Nirbhar answer from India. We already have an answer, sir, thanks to you as well as the team for getting us this answer. Um, by when can we expect private organizations or some few organizations to get the Bharos uh, software, sir? Uh, uh, in my opinion and in my wish and pray that in another th two to three months, there should be at least a couple of organizations who are running full fledged on it. Sir, before we let you go, uh, is there any possibility that NewsX can get a sneak peek of this software before its rollout? Is, uh, that, is that possibility there, sir? No, I am I'm, I'm, I'm director of IIT Madras. It is, this whole thing is done by a IITM incubator company, so I cannot answer this question there. No worries, sir. Thank you so much. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.